Uh, here we're going to mention a re very nice, uh, a gen one of our older pieces in the shop. It, this is a um, kind of a hutch top used as a kind of a curio cabinet or a display cabinet. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's an heirloom quality piece as far as its age. has some flaws to it, but we know a lot of antique people are very creative and can, can find um, some things to do with this piece. Um, here's, is, you can see kind of at the top of trees, we see there were some of those kind of, um, at the very top, you see some of those kind of triangle marks on there? Yes. Yeah, that's the hand dovetailing of it. So the antiquers, we know when you see that, that means somebody carved that piece by hand. They really put some work into it. You can see where they, or at the top, where there's some, where there's the line. Somebody drew a pencil and they just, you know, marked everything off. So that's a lot of hand detail work somebody put into that. Um, and you know, it's a 12 pane uh, cabinet, it's, uh, six panes on each one. And now, are the panes there? If you kind of open up the door, one of the doors. The glasses, it's six individual panes instead of, um, you know, uh, one pane separated by the wood. So six individual panes also makes it a, a better piece than, um, than others. Um, plus, on the top of it, you can see kind of, there's kind of like that, ri that ridge type look. It might be called a dentil type of a design. Um, you think your teeth, well, that's sort of the, what that comes from. And just yeah, all that space. You look in. She's showing you all that that woodwork inside. Just a very rustic. Uh, has kind of a warm look, I think, to it. There's there's just a lot of. It's a very comfortable piece to have in your room. Now I'm thinking maybe you could put that either maybe on a table. A table. Um. um you can also use it. Um. What I actually was leaving, not just not just on a table but you can actually have an actual armoire okay. that you can sit it on top of you can use it um, for china yeah that would look nice for, yes um, maybe your uh, vintage glasses that you like or just antique i've noticed like a lot of ladies love they have the antique figurines mm -hmm. or glass pieces that they can actually you collect hummels something like that yep exactly and then at the bottom, you've got uh, three separate drawers. You can see there's, there's some issues with some of the uh, veneer on there. But you know what? It's 150 years old. Uh, you, I, you know, I don't know a whole lot of people that look too good after 150 years old. Exactly. And this and piece this is, is still very, this, very vintage looking. It's nice. really cut, held up really well. Very nice. And, um, you know, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be your responsibility if you purchase it from us to keep it for the next 150 years and and then uh, and pass it down through your family. Exactly, that you want to have for heirlooms. Let me double check on what the measurements were for that one. Okay. Uh, did we have that one there? Yes. It is actually 42 inches tall, okay. 41 uh, inches wide, and 11 in depth. Pretty spacious. Pretty spacious cabinet. And um, Antiquers, be creative because this is an old one. Uh, for shipping on it, we can get it to you, no problem. We know that, um, yes, it's fragile and it's glass, but we've shipped pieces, a lot of glass before. Don't worry about it. We'll hand package it and get it to somewhere close to you. Save you a lot of money on shipping and um, really decorate your home with something. Beautiful piece. You'll be proud of. Beautiful.